Hello, I'm Kara Larson with your evening headlines from Two Works for You. Claremore's latest effort to cut down on train noise is meeting with some mixed reviews. The city permanently closed 6th Street as part of their plan to become quiet zone compliant, meaning the trains would not have to sound their horns. We asked around town, and while some are enjoying the change, others don't like the road closure, and they hope that Claremore won't shut down any more roads. The Bartlesville Police Department is mourning the loss of one of their own. Lieutenant Rob Fouts died on Sunday. He was diagnosed just recently with cancer. Fouts worked for the Bartlesville Police Department for 24 years. And just this past weekend, the community held a fundraising event for his family at a local donut shop. Well, despite the president's push to save you money, drug prices don't appear to be going down. The Associated Press just did an analysis. It found each price cut came with 96 price hikes, and those price cuts are smaller than we've seen in the last several years. Unseasonably cool weather heading our way for the middle of the week with highs falling down the 60s and lower 70s. Two temperatures do rebound as we head towards the weekend with temperatures back into the 80s. And we'll see that with our extended forecast. Uh, upper 80s on your Tuesday turning cooler for Wednesday back in the mid 70s on Thursday overnight lows down in lower 50s. We do warm the weekend though lower to mid 80s across the area. Another cool front arrives by late Sunday and Monday with even cooler weather heading our way the middle of next week.